Texas congressman and his two sons were caught in the middle of this big hail of bullets you've heard so much about this week and this afternoon. They all returned home here to North Texas. And our Jack Fink was there waiting for him when they arrived. He's live for us over at DFW International Airport. Uh, Jack, understand with your conversation today some new details about what it was like being there. Well, that's right, Doug. Congressman Joe Barden and his oldest son still have very vivid memories of the shooting, and his son discussed the split decision he had to make. They are obviously all very thankful on this Father's Day weekend. I feel blessed to be able to be here having a press conference. Congressman Joe Barton of Ennis still becomes emotional two days after. A gunman repeatedly fired shots at him, his two sons, and other Republicans at baseball practice. When Barton says he ran into the dugout, he didn't see his youngest son, Jack, right away. I said, where's Jack, where's Jack? And members already in the dugout had put him under the bench and, and put their bodies to protect him. Congressman Barton's oldest son, Brad, was also there and says he dropped to the ground, wondering what to do next. Do I lay flat? Do I stand up and get shot? Do I run to see Jack and Dad? Um, so I ultimately just kind of laid there till the police arrived. He says he called his wife but had to leave a voicemail. She recorded 36 shots in those two and a half minutes. After the shooting, Congressman Barton says he doesn't want to have to hide behind SWAT team members just to attend a public event. Democracy won't work if, if people like myself are not available to people in town halls and civic functions and political functions. He says members of Congress should tone down their political rhetoric. And we need to emphasize the start of our title, which is United States Representative, and stop focusing on what's after our name, which is RRD. Congressman Barton says compromise is not a dirty word. He is captain of the Republican baseball team, and while they lost to the Democrats, he says it is the American people who won the game. Live at DFW International Airport, Jack Fink, CBS 11 News. Thank you, Jack.